have you ever thought about how much makeup contributes to the waste in the world? When thinking about makeup, something that rarely comes to mind is sustainability. However, the cosmetic and makeup industries today have created many issues. Some of these issues include, but are not limited to, product and packaging waste and animal testing. There are some brands that are open that they are not as sustainable as others, and some that hide the fact that they are still conducting animal testing. Today, we are going to break down some of those most popular brands such as NARS, Rare Beauty, and Ilia, and see how they are making an impact on our environment. We are going to see how much waste is the makeup industry producing each year, how bad is animal testing today, and how do I know if the products that I'm using are sustainable? Let's talk about it. To start to understand the true impact that some of these companies have on waste, first let's look at some statistics. Research suggests that nearly 120 billion units of packaging are produced per year globally. To put that into perspective, according to population growth scientists, only a rough estimate of 105 billion people have lived on Earth cumulatively. So needless to say, that's a lot of waste, and much of it is difficult to recycle. One of the biggest concerns with plastic waste is the eventual degradation into microplastics, which can be harmful for the environment because they can be carriers for heavy metals and pollutants. This process is expedited by our waste management system of landfills. Over time, we have seen a societal decrease in reusable packaging, with consumers opting for more single-use plastics, which may seem more convenient. Production companies generally cite a few common reasons for not moving towards reusable packaging. These are the logistics involved with both the supply chain to meet such high demand for products and the logistics involved with actually receiving and refilling those products in an efficient, cost-effective, and hygienic manner. By the year 1938, the United States Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act is signed into law requiring some safety substantiation of cosmetic products. This compels companies to begin testing their products on animals. In 2007, New Jersey passes a law requiring companies to use test methods validated by Integrity C Coordinating Committee on the validation of alternative methods. In 2008, New York passes a law requiring companies to use test methods validated by the Integrity Coordinating Committee. By 2013, in March, the full European Union bans the sale of animal-tested uh, cosmetics takes effect. As of recently, this year in September 2023, celebrity advocates lobbied Congress to pass the Humane Cosmetics Act. The Humane Society of the United States, Humane Society Legislation Fund, and Humane Society International were joined by celebrity advocates urging members of Congress to pass the Humane Cosmetics Act, which would end new cosmetics testing on animals in the United States. It would prohibit the import and sale of cosmetics in the U.S. that would have been newly tested on animals elsewhere in the world. Today, there is still a lot of different testing on animals, such as testing certain chemicals on the corneas of rabbits' eyes. However, today we can test on human-like skin cells. The goal of animal testing is to test the chemicals in makeup to make sure there is no bad effect on human skin. Additionally, about 10,000 animals are killed from every new pesticide tested. My favorite makeup product is Trish McBoy Mascara, the Ilia Concealer. My favorite makeup product is the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drop. No. 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 Not really. I care about sustainability, but I don't really think about it when I'm purchasing makeup. So Trish McVoy doesn't do any animal testing, which is great, but unfortunately it doesn't have any sort of sustainability focus. So Ilia is a great brand. They really focus on sustainability and don't do any animal testing. Drunk Elephant doesn't test on animals, which is great, but it also doesn't really focus on sustainability or have any sort of sustainability promise.
If you want to minimize the waste and harmful methods against animals, but don't know where to start, you should check out Clean at Sephora. When shopping online or in-store, you may see a symbol or a sticker of a green leaf with the logo. Ilya, a brand we mentioned earlier, is at the forefront of the Clean at Sephora marketing campaign. These products do not include parabens, sulfates, mineral oil, formaldehydes, formaldehyde-releasing re- agents, retinol, palmitate, oxybenzone, coal tar, hydroquinone, triclosin, triclocarbon, and all synthetic f- fragrances. The only problem is the price range is in the medium to high range. While this is a systemic problem, many companies blame the people for not making sustainability efforts. Brands at drugstores, which are more affordable, are not making an effort in sustainability campaigns, which is a huge issue.